yesterday we were roughed up by NIS agencies, those are security agencies, they have an office behind us here, and they came and started demolishing the wall from the outside for our parking, our community parking. When I was on my way out of the office and I had some commotion at the back, I went to see what is happening. And I couldn't believe what happened. <laughs> I was roughed up, given a thorough beating, phones taken away. I was with Pastor Major, camera confiscated and taken away. And uh, so I started making calls to look for help. And so as I was making those calls, I happened to go out. And I went to some office around the corner. I did not get much help. So I came back. On my way back, there was a car that was just stopping in front of the church. And those vehicles, we know them very well. They belong to the anti-terrorism. CIDs. This one Magarisa DCIO. Headquarters. And when those gentlemen came out, I was very happy because I thought they had come to help us. Actually, I greeted them. So we opened the gate and they entered. Hey, Tuli Chapua. Leo Jaona. And I must say, between the NIS, the DCIO security agencies, and the regular police, they really had no shame, no shame, even of beating me up, beating up my staff, to an extent of lifting up my skirt. I, I could not believe it. At some point, I became numb. I thought I was dreaming, and it took me a while to realize reality, that actually it's not a dream. Even the ones we thought they were coming to help us, they were coming to reinforce their colleagues. So when my body came out of that numbness, I got a lot of pain. And I realized my son had been beaten, arrested, put in the boot. Joshua, my accountant, our, fo our cameras were confis confiscated by the same people who confiscated our phones. And uh, my driver was beaten up. My security was beaten and his hand is broken. We have left him in the hospital. Akiwekwa cast. The hand was fractured and uh, other staff, the admin, Pastor Major, quite a number of us, and we went to hospital, so we left the hospitals early morning. Through the night, we were in the hospital. We left the hospitals early morning. I would like to make something very clear. We, the Jesus is Alive Ministries, we have never grabbed anybody's land. Apparently, we don't even accept land that has no title deed. The sanctity of a title deed document is so important that that is the document that gives you right of a property. We bought these properties many years ago, and they are our properties. Along this lane called Weruga Lane, there is no a single property that belongs to railways. Not even one. These properties belong to investors like ourselves, to other people. We are like about, I think, four or five investors. And to my right hand, you will find Kahawa House, not railways. So what are we dealing with here? We are dealing with land grabbers that have been supported 
from very high powers. Very high powers that they have become untouchable. Very high powers that as they are there, they can tell you, you are fighting government and you should stop fighting government. So I want to say to our government and to His Excellency, our President William Ruto, and to our Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, we loved you, we voted for you, we supported you, you have rewarded us with broken legs, broken arms, hurting bodies. You truly, truly, truly have rewarded us with evil. A week ago, we shared the pulpit in Nyayo Stadium, repenting as the body of Christ because of sins that were committed to our very dear friend, good minister, and a father in the gospel, Ben Hinn. We did very well. But behold, after Ben Hinn forgave, or whoever else forgave us, is this the revival we were expecting? Land grabbing by government officials in front of the eyes of government? How many screams does Bishop Margaret Wanjiro has to make for any one of you to respond and rescue us? Is this how you reward our work and our hard labor for this government? Why did we bring in Benihin? And I was part of the organizing team. We brought him in because we felt that forgiveness. We remove the cloud of darkness and remove the curse that have been hovering around this country. Now let me tell you something. My president and my deputy president from today, this Margaret Wanjiro that was beaten, my clothes lifted up, but he, by young men who are police, police security agents, they touched my thighs, me, a woman of God. I want to make a very sweet promise to you. Believe you me, you will look for me. You went for Benihin in America, for me, you will look for me, and I'm not moving, and I'm not going anywhere. I will be here. You have started a fight that you cannot fight. This one is in the heavenlies. We have lived with this community parking all these years. We have never fought. You are using the MD railways. I pity his family. Because as I cried yesterday and today, even his family plus yours are not exempted. My tears will pay. We are hurting. We are bleeding. But behold, Isaiah 61 anointing stands. Jehovah God healed the broken hearted. We are disappointed with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Extremely disappointed. I was one of the founding members of UDA. I campaigned two years straight when others came to just steal what I had worked for. Yet, I let go. I've loved you, my president. I've loved you, my deputy president. I've loved your family. When you call, I obey, I answer. I've never disrespected or disregarded you. I've always loved you, prayed for you, and blessed you. But behold, from this day, take it from this altar. Tables are turning. Thank you. I'm done. To the men and women of God that came to stand with me, thank you very much. I want the church to learn if this can be done to Bishop Margaret Wanjiro. <laughs> what are you guys waiting for? Who is next? Who is next? If this can be done to me, who is next? If right now I don't even have my phone, they are busy investigating it. Who is next? And let me make it clear. Mr. President and Deputy President, I have never worked with these things. If it was a car accident, I would not even complain. But to be beaten by security, you are or our 
security agencies and now I'm in clutches. I'll count the steps that I will walk and somebody will pay for every single step. I think it's time that some people in this nation understand that there is God. Not God of hypocrisy. Not God of jokes. But real God. And God has his servants in this nation. A people that he has his hands on them. If anything happens to me or my children, if we get hurt or any of our other properties get hurt, because right now your security agencies are constructing a wall. They are land grabbing right in front of our eyes. If my children get hurt or I get hurt, I will squarely put that blame on you. And if I die or they die, our blood is in your hands. For the, the peace of the people out there, again, these properties are ours, bought, paid, title deeds are there, and uh, we haven't grabbed any land from anyone. Our common parking is the one that has been grabbed. These properties by private investors go from Helsilasi all the way down, and we have a common parking. And so that parking has been grabbed right in front of our eyes, which means we don't even know where. You can see trucks are coming. You can see they are bringing more trucks to come and dig. We don't even know where we are going to park our vehicles going forward. However, before we got vehicles, we were still children of God. I love you good people. Thank you. We have our title deeds. We have nothing to worry about. Anybody messing around with us is messing around with God. Let God fight this battle for us. Again, to the ministers that have come, thank you. God bless you.